so today i got a new topic that is when we can use bm method well bm method i mean oh sorry it's a big m method all right so basically bm method is one of the most important topic if you are uh, preparing for university examination most of the time we have seen question ask question ask in simplex method in simplex method they just include try to solve the problem by using bm method but the thing is that we need to know when we can use this method when I mean, there there are some uh, there is uh, or there are some condition to apply this method well so first of all there is one condition okay if you will understand that condition then definitely you are not you are not going to face problem to solve a question well you have to follow steps just like in simplex method but in bm method we need to have certain condition in equation and i must say in constraints well suppose that we have equation that maximum z is equal to 3x plus 2y or something like that but if we have constraint if we have constraints just like x plus 2y 0 so not 0 as 10 let's consider 10 3y greater than 20 and xy equal to 0 I mean greater than equal to 0 if if there is at least at least one one at least one constraint constraint greater than greater than equality sign equality sign if this condition is applicable then only we can use bm method at least one there could be two or three doesn't matter but yes most of the time we have seen question at least i mean one constant is greater than equality sign because if you'll have two then the condition I mean, the solution will be much more bigger so most of the time we have seen that there is only one or uh, one uh, greater than equality sign well i hope you understand the basic concept of for implementation of bm method and this is important my dear all right i hope you understand something from this video thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye